today's teaching I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord Psalms 118 verse 17 my name is Reverend Dr. Seneth Brown the founder and host pastor of the New Testament Church of Christ the Redeemer of Canada let us turn our Bibles today to Psalms 118 verse 17 which is our reading Jesus Christ is the bread of life, so I am here to share the bread of life with you. Psalms 118 verse 17 says, let us read it together. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. And the word of God is blessed, so we honor it by saying, glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, it is world without end. Amen. Today is Sunday, May 3rd, 2020, in the year of our Lord. And my topic for you today, as I break bread with you today, is Psalms 118, verse 17. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. My subtopic is... I am grateful for deliverance from the grave. I am grateful for deliverance from the grave. And also, do not give up and never give up when we face any difficulties. Today's reading, once again, is Psalms 118, verse 17. Jameson, Facet Brown Commentary, declares, Psalms 118, 17 and 18 as this, he would live because he was confident that his life would be for God's glory. His own nation rejected Jesus, but he was exalted and made the cornerstone of God's people. Those whom the Lord is delighted to call his children, because we are his servants, we will also face rejection from the world that still loves the darkness. Still, because we are in him, we will also be raised up to rule and reign with him. Second Timothy 2 verse 12 says, If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. When we are rejected for our profession of faith, let us remember that and be encouraged to remain faithful. David says, Although the enemy quenched me like the fire of thorns, in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. He declared, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chased me sore, but has not given me over to death. The Lord has chastened me sore, but has not given me over to death. We can say that today as well. 
The Lord has chastened us sore, but he has not given us over to death. This is a remarkable promise from the Lord. Right here. Because Christ rose from the dead on the third day, we too shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Because the Lord has not given us over unto death. You may be suffering, but God has not given you over unto death. Remember that he is the cure to our death sentence that was upon us before he rose from the dead. Jesus came on earth. They bound him and crucified him. Little did the enemy knew he was just fast tracking the story of our redemption. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And because he lives, we too will live again. The enemy made the first mistake, believing that he was going to be dead forever. But that was not so. St. Matthew 27 verse 64 says, Command therefore that the sepulchre be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away. And said unto the people, He is risen from the dead. So the last error shall be worse than the first. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. Never ever give up. The Lord will deliver us out of all our situations, our crises our chaos, our circumstances, and our hardships and difficulties. No enemy is too high for the Lord to handle. And so we praise him in battle, knowing that he will bring the final battle to us, knowing that he will bring the final victory to us. Do you trust that God is an all-sufficient help in trouble. When you walk in the knowledge of a functionable covenant and with a covenant-keeping God, nothing is permitted to take away your life prematurely. Nothing. Be it sicknesses, diseases, demonic powers, evil, hardship, suffering, crisis, chaos, difficulties, or whatever it may be. We will live in the fullness of God. Nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, is permitted to terminate our life before adequately fulfilling God's supreme plans for our lives. Everyone has an assignment that brought them into this world. God cannot just waste his time and resources making a magnificent creature like us. Also, look at all the things put into the process of bringing you and I into this world. Our parents coming together, your miraculous formation in the womb and birth, Millions do not survive these stages, but we did. This clearly shows that there is a definite divine supernatural plan for our lives. We are divinely planned and divinely timed. Romans 8 verse 30 says, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called and whom he called, he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Psalms 139 verses 14 through 17 declares, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, 
and that my soul know it right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! Now, also look at all you have been through in this life. You are still alive and still in the land of the living. That's enough for us to praise God for. That's enough to be thankful. That's enough to give honor to the true spirit of God. That's enough to lift up high the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Also, everyone has some painful stories to tell in this life. Some have theirs characterized by awful pains, suffering, struggles, heartaches, bombs of life, calamities, chaos, crises, disappointments, devastation, and disasters. How very differently we view things at different times in our lives. Faith takes a bright and cheerful view of matters and speak very confidently. Faith speaks, I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. First Peter 2 verse 9 declares, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Bless the name of the Lord. Let's fulfill our responsibility as believers. We are blessed to be a witness about his goodness. We are saved so we can declare the salvation we received from Jesus. We are healed so we can proclaim his power over our sicknesses and diseases. By the grace of God, we are what we are so we can declare his works. We are always able to declare him if we keep walking in his marvelous light. When we come to him closer and closer, when we draw near to God, we will receive his goodness moreover so we can declare all his works. Praise the name of the Lord. We are blessed to witness his goodness. We are saved to declare his glorious salvation. We are healed to proclaim a strong hope to this hopeless world. We are helped to proclaim a strong, glorious hope to this hopeless world. We are healed to proclaim his power and healing virtue. When you actually discover and walk in the knowledge of God's will for your life, it automatically makes it impossible for your life or your mission on earth to be aborted. When you locate and obediently function in your perfect place, nothing, no sickness, no situation, and nobody is permitted to eliminate you before your exit time. The psalmist understood this very well when he said, I will not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Psalms 118 verse 17. Yes, it is only the living that can praise the Lord. The dead cannot praise him in the grave. So we 
who are alive today give him praise we praise you O Lord of this earth we praise you O God of the heavens we praise you because of who you are your majesty or your glory your power your honor is unto you we give you utmost respect for you being the creator of our lives the creator of heaven and earth the creator of mankind the creator of the universe the creator of this world we thank you that this is our father's world we thank you for creating this world we thank you for allowing us to be a part of this world in jesus mighty name yes it is only the living that can praise God or give testimonies. You are staying alive after all those tough times. Near death experiences will undoubtedly bring glory to God. But like the psalmist, you must refuse to die prematurely. You must insist that the will of God is fully executed in your life this is the only way his name will be glorified refuse to die prematurely today in Jesus mighty name be faithful in trials be faithful in tribulations be faithful in crisis be faithful and let not your hearts be troubled in this time of chaos let not your spirit dry up in this time of chaos remember we shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord God uses trials to show us our need for him God uses trials to show us our need for him so that we will pray so that we will pray we pray most fervently when we go through severe trials because it is then that we see how great our need really is when things are going relatively smoothly we should pray of course but i know that our prayers become more and more focused and intense when we are in severe trials such prayer should be offered in faith that the Lord can deliver us. The psalmist refers to God as his refuge in Psalms 118 verses 8 and 9. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. God is our help. Psalms 118 verse 13. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. And God is now our strength and salvation. Psalms 118 verse 14. The Lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation. David knew that if God did not come through for him, he was doomed. Out of great need, he prayed. So should we. In our trials, we must not doubt that God in Christ is for us. In our trials, we must not doubt that God in Christ is for us. And if God be for us, who can be against us? When fierce trials hit, the enemy always tries to get us to doubt the goodness of God. If he is good and if he loves us, why are we permitted to go through these trials? But the psalmist here affirms, the Lord is for me, I will not fear what man can do to me. Again, he repeats as if to assure himself. Psalms 118 verse 7. 
the Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. The Lord is for us. Being confident of this one thing, he that has begun a good work is able to complete it unto the end. Similar verses, in God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. And in God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. As well as Hebrews 13 verse 6 says, So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Our trust must be in God alone to save us. When we experience God's salvation, he is glorified as we tell others and grow in godliness. Psalms 118 verses 16 through 18. The psalmist exalts the Lord and his strength. His right hand has a result of God's deliverance. The psalmist vows to tell others of the works of Almighty God. Psalms 118 verse 17 declares it. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. So should we. Only the righteous may enter into real worship with the Lord and his people. God's way of salvation confounds the world, but causes his people to rejoice and give thanks unto him. We praise him for all that he has done. We glorify him for all that he will continue to do in our lives. We have experienced God's salvation through Jesus Christ. Then we should be filled with joy and thanksgiving. We should be able to look like Psalms 118 verse 28 to 29 says, Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, and I will exalt thee. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Be encouraged, people of God. Be encouraged. There is always struggle before miracles. Be encouraged. All is not lost. There is hope for the hopeless. There is joy for the sad. There is gladness for the weary. There is laughter for the suffering. There is consolation for those that are mourning. There is indeed blessings for those that are going through dry seasons. Give up and never give up when we face our when difficulties. Each problematic situation is a raw material ready to be changed for a miracle. If there is not any problem in our life, so we will never need any help. If there is not any impossibilities in our life, so we will never ask and pray for God who can turn it all into possibilities. Do not give up when having a problem or facing this present crisis, coronavirus pandemic. Since not give up when having a problem, since we understand that there is a chance for us to experience the miracle from heaven personally, keep trust in God even when it is challenging to hold on to his words. That is normal when we do not understand his ways and his thoughts. The Lord says that his thoughts are not ours, nor are our ways his ways. His ways are higher than our ways, and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Isaiah 55 
verses 8 and 9. The only thing we can do is keep believing in him and ask the Holy Spirit to open the eyes of our hearts so we can always stick on him. Whenever we face any difficulties, let us believe that God is preparing a brand new day. Fresh experience for us to be shared and declared. Because God always wants to give us unique blessings. He wants us to experience unique miracles, signs and wonders in this earth. God still has a desire to upgrade us. God still has a desire to advance us and to upgrade us. He needs to bring us to a higher level of the faith declaration. Lazarus was not dead because of his sickness, but he lived to declare the works of the Lord. Our problem will not defeat us, but we will survive. We are victorious and maintain the actions of the Lord. Never give up to any difficulties. Never give up in trials. Never give up in struggles. Never give up in chaos. Ask God for his guidance, his support, his strength, his encouragement. And it comes through his words also. He will speak to us in his words. So go in the word of God, read the word of God, study the word of God, meditate on the word of God, and you will be strengthened. You will be empowered. You will be motivated. You will gain super special and super natural revelation, revelatory knowledge from the word of God. The word of God is powerful. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God is, hallelujah, the answer for the world today. Jesus Christ is the answer for the world today. Above him, there is no other. His word is relevant. His word is steadfast. His word gives hope. His word is life. His word is assurance. His word, hallelujah, is encouragement. His word is medicine to our bodies. His word speak clarity to our spirit. Oh, glory to God. His word speak clarity to our doubts and confusion. His word is precise. His word is accurate. His word is infallible. His word, hallelujah, is potent. His word is dynamic. His word is one of a kind. His word cannot be compared to any other word in this world or in any other dictionary. His word stands alone because his word is fulfilling. His word is also fulfillment. He is a covenant keeping God. He keeps covenant to a thousands of generation. Oh, glory to God. He keeper of our lives. He's a keeper of our gates. He's a keeper of our homes. He's a keeper of the ministry. He's a keeper of this world. He's a keeper of all nations of this world. 25 verse 8. He will swallow up death in victory and the Lord will wipe away tears of our faces and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. He will swallow up death in victory. The Lord will swallow up death in victory. Glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree, I declare, and I command that I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Say it with me, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen and amen. I will also decree and declare and command that I shall not die, but live long to declare the works of the Lord God Almighty. According to the fullness of my life in Christ Jesus, my Lord, 
I, God said I am, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are who God said you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, too, we live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Indeed, you have nothing to fear because your greater days are still ahead of you. Your greatest days are still marvelously awaits you. Fear not. Do not be discouraged. Do not let your heart be troubled. Continue to take courage in the hope of his coming, the hope of his glory, the hope of his resurrection. You will not die in this crisis, but you will live to declare the works of the Lord. Glory to God. Prophetic declaration over our lives. We shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Live and declare the goodness of God in Jesus' mighty name. Psalms 118 verse 17. All the days of our lives, our going out and coming in, be blessed. All the days of our lives, our going out and coming in, shall be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Due to labor, shall produce abundant fruits. As the peace of God that passes all understanding shall guard our hearts every moment and even this present coronavirus pandemic in Jesus' mighty name. Philippians of death wanting us to die. I set you ablaze in Jesus' mighty name. Messenger of death, I send you right back to the abyss of hell in Jesus' powerful name. Powers planning to destroy and to celebrate over our lives. We cancel you now and forever in Jesus' mighty name. Powers planning to celebrate our death. Be destroyed without mercy in Jesus' dynamic name. Decode every evil program assigned to kill us in Jesus' powerful name. We decode every evil program that the enemy sets against us to kill us in Jesus' mighty name. Sickness, diseases assigned to kill us. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 53 verse 5 is our confidence in Jesus Christ's death. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we have been delivered. By his stripes we have been made whole. By his stripes we have been empowered. By his stripes we have been motivated. By his stripes, hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus Christ. By his stripes we have been given the authority to speak clearly in the name of the Lord, to speak boldly in the name of Jesus Christ, our son of the living God. Oh, to speak, oh, glory to God, the unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. By his stripes, glory to God, we are healed from sicknesses and diseases. By his stripes, God Almighty, there were power and there is still power in the stripes of Jesus Christ. His stripes brings joy. His stripes brings healing. His stripes brings power. Be thou empowered right now. Be thou hopeful right now. Be thou courageous right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. His stripes, hallelujah, has given us great hope. Oh, glory to God for his second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. His stripes gives us hope uh, to be prepared for his second coming. Glory to God. What a day that will be when our Savior we will see face to face. Glory to God. That will be a day that is supernaturally awesome, supernaturally blessed, supernaturally great. Oh, glory to God. 
that will be a jubilee experience of a day. God, we look forward to your coming. Oh, we look forward to seeing you face to face. Glory to God. But until then, we will continue to be steadfast in our hope, steadfast in our truth, in the truth that we know about you and the word of God that declares your truth. We will stand on the truth that we know. We will continue to believe in the truth that we have learned. Oh God, the book of Jude speak about the confidence that we ought to hold fast to the word of God that we have learned. We will not crumble. We will not backslide. We will not look back. We will not go, oh God Almighty, we will not go against your words. We will not go against your word, but we will stand fast upon the solid, rooted, oh foundation of the word of God because you are true. And because you're true, we know that we can trust you. We can trust the Lord. And I will trust the Lord all the days of my life. And may you say it with me today, we will trust the Lord. We can trust him. He's a trustworthy God. He's a true God. He's a God that fulfills promises. He's a covenant keeping God. We have hope. We are not a people without hope. We have glorious hope in Christ Jesus. Take courage. Take comfort, world. It's not over until Jesus said it's over. It's not over until God say, this is final. God is not saying it is final yet. It is not. Greater awakening still to come in this world. Greater awakening still to manifest upon the face of the earth. Billions of souls still need to come to know the Lord Jesus as their personal savior. Billions of souls need to be rescued from the powers of darkness, from the powers of hell, from demonic assignments. And so we are put here as his hands and feet. Oh, glory to God, as his servants to deliver them and to give them a bright hope, teaching them the way of Jesus Christ. A sudden death fired against our lives. Right now, you are canceled in the name of Jesus. Arrows shall not claim victory over us in Jesus' mighty name. The grave shall swallow all the powers of hell that wants us dead in Jesus' mighty name. Shadow of death over us. Turn into a pillar of fire in Jesus' mighty name. Messengers of death assigned against us right now be arrested in the mighty name of jesus genesis 6 verse 3 says and the lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years you cannot and we cannot die unless God withdraw a spirit from us. The nature of our sicknesses or afflictions, the time of our death is in God's hand. The time of our death is in God's hand, not Satan's hand. We are God's servants. He will not withdraw a spirit from our bodies prematurely long life is our portion can you say that today long life is my portion long life is my portion today and forevermore in jesus mighty name if you would like to experience psalms 118 verse 17 which says i shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is your opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior right now. Repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I a sinner. Thank you for dying on the cross and rose again on the third day. I believe that you did rose on the third day. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me. Into my heart and life, 
I now accept you as Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now help me to live the rest of my life for you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Prophetic words for you Sunday, May 3rd, 2020. It's the wrong time to give up. Change is here right now. You shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. The whole circumstances, choose to praise the Lord in the good times and in the bad times. Choose to praise the Lord in crisis, chaos, temptations, trials, tribulations, difficulties, sufferings. Choose to praise the Lord because he is deserving of all our praises. He is deserving. Let us praise him. Oh, yes. From the four corners of the earth, let us praise him. Oh, glory to God. From the east, the west, the north, and the south, we command a praise through and upon this world even now. I command the praises of God's people to be lifted up higher and higher, most higher, oh, glory to God, than ever before. We lift up the name of Jesus Christ over coronavirus pandemic. We lift up Jesus Christ as the Messiah over this crisis. We lift up the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ over our situations, over our troubles, problems, trials and sufferings, isolation. We lift up the name of Jesus over every mental issues. We lift up the name of Jesus over psychological, physical, spiritual, mental, sociological. Oh God Almighty, continue to lift up the banner of Jesus Christ over all our situations because he is deserving of our praise. He's praiseworthy over this earth and within this earth. He is praiseworthy in the heavens and he is praiseworthy in the earth. Hallelujah. Purpose to pursue Jesus. Do Jesus Christ at any cost. Pursue him for his perfect divine plans over your life. Do not give up. Do not throw in the towel. Do not give up now because of isolation do not give up because of depression suppression do not give up because of discouragement do not give up because of despair do not give up it is time of our difficulties that the greatest glory of god is manifested it is in time of trials that the greatest anointing is delivered it is in time of our hardship that God's grace is poured out upon us immeasurable. It is in time of our trials, glory to God, that we see, oh yes, the awesome power of God move on our behalf. He is moving on his people's behalf, oh glory to God. He is doing wonders upon the earth. He is doing miracles upon the earth. He is making himself strong on the behalf of his people. Fear thou not. Do not be dismayed. The Lord is with thee. Courage, you, I, we shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Shalom, shalom. Greetings, everyone. My name is Reverend Dr. Saneth Brown, the host pastor of the New Testament Church of Christ, the Redeemer of Canada. The Lord has inspired me to write for beautiful, awesome, dynamic, amazing books. Books that will catapult you to higher dimension in the Lord. Books that will motivate you, that will give you courage and encourage you, empower you. And in every area of your life, you will be strengthened. I wrote these four wonderful books to the world and for the world. The first book is titled, The Holy Spirit, Prophetic Poetic Prayers. The second book is called The Holy Spirit Prophetic Poetic Journal. The third book is called The Holy Spirit Prophetic Poetic Devotional. And the fourth one is Now is the Time for Discernment. Now is the Time for Discernment was published last year, June 19th, 2019. 
Now is the time for discernment. It's so fitting for what is going on in the world. If ever a time we need the spirit of discernment, it is now. Once you read this book, you will gain great insight, great knowledge, significant increase in your spiritual walk with the Lord. This book is filled with prophetic words for today and beyond. Even for the crisis we now face, this book is a great resource. Read it and you will be inspired, motivated, and transformed. Let's look at the table of contents. I am divinely planned and divinely timed. I am the coordinator of your life. The Holy Ghost wants his people to be like sensitive motion detectors. The Holy Ghost revealed to me that there is an evil defiant spirit from hell that has risen in the body of Christ. It is time to subdue it in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that you are the head and not the tail. You will live beyond the expected years. Open my eyes to see what heaven is up to. Just to list a few more with you. When God's favor finds you, you are well found. Fight your battles on your knees. Press on, you will gain the victory. The impossible before the possible. The blood of Jesus Christ covering. The guiding hand of God. God's set time. The power of God no one can fathom. God is making the body of Christ fruitful in the land of afflictions. The Holy Ghost, my comforter, teacher, and best friend. You can purchase my amazing, wonderful, life-changing, atmosphere-changing, transforming books by clicking the links in the description below. They are available at Chapters, Indigo, Barnes & Noble, Life Rich, West Bow Press, and Amazon. Thanks greatly to all those who purchased these books already. God will indeed catapult you spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, mentally, spiritually to depths unknown. Continue to soar like the eagles. Continue to rise above all your circumstances and situations in your life. God bless you. Continue to be inspired as you read my wonderful, excellent books. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance upon you and bless you with his peace. Next year, it's a new season. Oh, yes, it is. Bring it on down. Listen, the devil's time is up. No longer can he bother me. Because the creator of the universe and father's man, and it's transferable. My children's children shall be free. It's a new season. It's a new season. If you don't know by now, you need to know it's Jubilee. But that's a cancel it. Children walk in victory. It's so available to you right now. Just taste and see. It's a new season.